Kuraba, Sinhalese, has a traditional Sri Lankan dish made from rice. It is prepared by cooking rice with coconut milk, hence this name, and can be considered a form of rice cake or rice pudding. Kurabath is an essential dish in Sri Lankan cuisine. It is very commonly served for breakfast on the first day of each month and also has added significance of being eaten for any auspicious moment throughout one's lifetime which are marking times of transition. It is one of the more renowned traditional dishes in Sri Lanka. Etymology The word is a compound with a transparent meaning in the Sinhala language, where kiri means milk and bath means rice. History The origins of Kurabath are not clear, although the dish seems to be unique to Sri Lanka, it is said that Sujata offered Kurabath to Gautama Buddha whilst he was meditating under the Bodhi tree, just before attaining enlightenment. It has now become a traditional dish and is common in almost every household in Sri Lanka, be it rich or poor. Occasions in a Sinhalese home, and during Sinhalese holidays and ceremonies Kurabath plays a significant role. The dish celebrates festive or auspicious occasions and symbolizes the beginning of new pursuits or transitions in life. Traditionally it is also eaten by families on the first day of each month. New Year Kurabath has a very important role for the Sinhalese in celebrating the Sinhalese New Year where it will be consumed as the first meal of the year. At the dawn of the New Year, a hearth within the household is lit by the lady of the house and the traditional pot of Kurabath is boiled. Sometimes rice that has been kept especially for this occasion will be used, as this occasion requires the best rice, which is expressed in terms of taste. When the cooking is finished, after a series of observances and rituals the family begins to eat, but not before making an offering to the Buddha and gods first. The family will eat from the same rice, as if they are symbolically dining together with the Buddha and the deities. During the Sinhalese New Year, or on any other special occasion, Kurabath will be served as the main dish and centerpiece of the meal. At the table, Kurabath is served alongside traditional sweets like kevam, kokis, bananas and many other delicacies. After this, the oil lamp is lit and the first meal of the year commences. The Kurabath symbolizes life and so it is fed to the rest of the family by the head of the family, either the father or the mother, to their progenitors for the new year. Feeding ceremony Kurabath is traditionally the first solid food fed to an infant. Seclusion ritual Weddings Kurabath is fed by bridegrooms to brides at their wedding. Funeral Poya Ingredients and preparation Ingredients Kurabath is typically prepared from four basic components. 1 pound white short grain rice ideally Sri Lankan rice called kakulu 3 cups thick coconut milk, or basic milk 5 cups water Salt to taste Choosing the right variety of rice is critical in cooking the dish well. Long grain rice or medium grain rice are not the best choices for making this dish. Traditionally, it is prepared with a rice variety known as Rathu Hall or Rathu Kakulu Hall for its neutral flavor and good cooking qualities. Any starchy and sticky rice variety works best. For the rice to set properly, the texture of the cooked rice is very important. Due to some difficult to source the Sri Lankan rice variety in the southern parts of Sri Lanka, the locals might use the red rice. Preparation The recipe for Kurabath is fairly simple. The rice is cooked in boiling water for about 15 minutes, the coconut milk is added and cooked again until the liquid is absorbed. Salt is also added when cooking. However, there are some variations to this where different ingredients are added, such as sesame seeds or cashew. The common method of serving kurabath is once it has cooled and set on a plate, it is compressed and cut into diamond or square shaped blocks. Historically, kurabath had been cooked in earthen clay pots in firewood hearths. This cooking method would impart a unique flavor to the dish. 
Consumption karabath is usually served with lunu miris, a relish made of red onions, mixed with chili flakes, Maldive fish, salt, and lime. It can also be consumed with sini sambal, jaggery and bananas, although served onto the plate with a spoon. Karabath is traditionally eaten by hand as it is the best way to mix with the lunu miris. Variations There are variations of karabath including Mung Kurabath Mung Kurabath, is a variation of Kurabath is made by adding boiled green gram to the milk rice. The same recipe and procedure can be followed to make this variation. It is often prepared in Buddhist temples. Imbal Kurabath Imbal Kurabath, is a sweet variation of the original. It is made by taking the a small amount of kurabath, made in the regular process, and spreading it on a banana leaf. A sweet filling made of coconut and jaggery, called pani pole, is placed in the center. The banana leaf is folded and rolled vertically and pressed firm giving it its unusual cylindrical shape. See also Rice and Curry Osechi References External links YouTube, Kurabath and Lunu Miris, UYAMU, YAMU TV